Hey everyone, today is Sunday, August 12th. Um, yesterday, played some Mass Effect 3. I know, big surprise. Uh, played several bronze maps with my friends, and uh, then at the end we tried two silver maps. Came out on top in both of them. I wasn't as concerned about the two silver maps as I normally am. I'm pretty uh, nervous during those maps. I, but the first map we did, um, my friend who was the leader of the room decided to let me choose the map. And so I chose Firebase White because I heard uh, it's a good map to do on pretty much any difficulty. It's easy, it's small, it's controllable. A lot of choke points, that sort of thing. Um, and I played the N7 Destroyer, the new soldier class that came with Earth, um, the, the Earth DLC. Um, I chose to go with the Falcon as my assault rifle and a Piranha as my shotgun. Uh, I have not had an opportunity to regret it. I also chose the Warfighter package, which gave, I think it's called the Warfighter package, it gave me um, an extra 3% assault rifle damage, which helps with the uh, the Piranha, uh, not the Piranha, the, uh, the Falcon. And um, I chose, it, it also gives a plus one to grenades, so they gave me three uses of my cluster grenade uh, rather than two. Um, I did pretty well in that first map, and then the second map we did, which was Firebase Dagger, um, first time we were fighting Cerberus, second time I think we were fighting Reapers. I don't like fighting Reapers. I never have. Um, they're an enemy you can't reason with. Um, you know, Cerberus is just stupid. The Geth, um, they're programmed that way, in a way. And, but the Reapers are just unrelenting, for whatever reason. Um, like, at least in the Cerberus and the Geth, they can see a point where they need to retreat. Not in multiplayer, but I mean as a faction, a faction on the whole. They see a point where they need to pull out. The Reapers, they just keep pushing on. They're like, eh, losses, whatever. We recruit that, not a big deal. So they just move on. You know, it's like a zombie armor, army or something. Essentially, it's a zombie army. Um, and, uh... So I got insta-killed by a Banshee in one of the later waves and didn't make any points that wave. And it really pissed me off. But, I, you know, once I got back up on my feet at the end of the wave, because my friends did a really good job, um, I managed to uh, come back and open up a can of whoop-ass. Um, yeah, getting killed by... Getting one shot by a Banshee is a great motivator to do better. Uh, but I did overall pretty well. Um, we netted about 30,000 credits per match in silver and about 15,000 in change per match in bronze. So that's not bad. Um, I enjoyed myself. Actually, those were the most enjoyable silvers I've ever done. Um, I don't know why, but that was fun. I, I liked it. Um, it could be because I picked a class and weapon combination that worked well for me. <coughs> Excuse me. Class and weapon combination that worked well for me. Anyways, um, I've been hankering to get back to my trooper in Star Wars The Old Republic. Hmm. Until next time.